Hey everybody, Radamon here. Thanks for tuning in to Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord, a Let's Play tutorial series. Last episode, we left off chasing down Batanian armies because we, or rather, my vassals declared our uh, war on them, and now I'm stuck in war. I don't actually mind it though, uh, but I do have to be careful because, as you all may know, we've had quite a lot of random death of my guys lately, and I don't want that trend to continue. That trend sucks. Looks to me like we have got quite a lot of recruits going to become something bigger and better. We also have a ton of prisoners. Uh, with all of these prisoners, it actually might make sense for me to go to the nearest town and ransom them. Um, mostly because I won't be able to take any more prisoners if I'm full. And where am I? I am nearly full. Nearly full indeed. Another thing I might want to do is let's sort by distance here. Uh, if I'm taking on a castle, or a town, I should say, uh, it might be wise for me to just have ridiculously overwhelming numbers. On the other hand, my influence cost... Oh, I don't know. All right, let's add them. I gotta be careful, right? You know, I don't, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to run out of influence and not be able to keep my army together. I do think my influence gain per day is high enough that that wouldn't be a problem. Nope, bye, Sianyun. Congratulations on your escape. It will be short-lived. I'm sure I'll see you again and get you. Is that what's, that's what we do. So, let's go ahead and trade and ransom. There's also the possibility of just settling peace so that we might be able to return to what we were doing. We do have definitely split attentions right now. Um, so I know it's a little distasteful to be like, oh yeah, peace, 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 but mm, maybe after taking one more, uh, another town or something like Pen Kanak, uh, we could think about, you know, actually settling out peace. So all of these battalions here, I don't want them. And the Imperials and more battalions intermixed and more battalions. The militia, I'm going to get rid of two. I know, they're Valandian, seems crazy, but uh, they're non, they, they don't level up high like the normal Valandian troops do. They max out and uh, we don't need them in the army either. So it looks like they took Mechalovia Castle. Uh, I'm actually going to ride that way. I crushed two armies that were around Marinath in uh, Sianon. So I think that ca recapturing Epicatria and Mechalovia would be a good way to end this war. If we take a look at the Kingdom tab, uh, as you can see, there's two successful sieges. Uh, one was... I actually don't know what the other one was. One was definitely Mechalovia Castle. I don't think that they actually took... I'm just double checking my territory. I don't actually think they took Epicotria this war, so I'm sort of curious as to what they did take, but either or, uh, I'm not gonna let them come out ahead. Maybe they took Flintolg. I, I don't even know. Maybe I could check. Uh, Flintolg Castle. What, there's no feed here? Mechalivia Castle. Yeah, as you can see, Mechalivia Castle has changed ownerships. Uh, Epicatria has not lately changed ownerships, but um, yeah, we'll go there anyway. That seems like a good place to sink our teeth in. Also, if they've recently captured it, uh, it stands to reason that there would be an army around here. There's Kaladog's army trying to chase my caravans. I'm not going to be able to catch Kaladog, so I'm just going to go back to what I was doing. But that is a, quite a funny mouse, cat and mouse uh, thing he's got going on over there. So here's Epicatria and Mechalivia. They are ridiculously underguarded. I'm going to hit Mechalivia first because there's basically nobody guarding it right now. It has recently fallen and there is no garrison.
to the point where like they also don't have siege equipment i could just ladder this fight it would not be that hard uh, i will want to get rid of some of their siege equipment though i don't want ballista to be shooting at me but this is not going to be much of a fight i don't think Oh, that was the wrong thing. I built the wrong thing. All right. Well, I guess we're siege towering. Uh, some of the reinforcements are gathering, I guess. Good luck to them. I don't think they're going to be able to win this one. Come on, Treb. All right. Let's pocket the Treb until there's more of them. Two should be enough for just Ballista. Look at, look at these silly armies. They're like... Attacker? Attacker not? Attacker? Attacker not? Uh, Alright, let's just go lead an assault well, what we've got now. They just don't have enough people... I'm not even going to switch weapons, as I'm sure you noticed. They don't even have enough people to dissuade me from just, like, a simple fight. Because the game deploys a certain ratio of enemies. Because, you know, this game isn't going to be able to render thousands at once. Uh, it's possible. I have a pretty beefy machine, but, like, I'm also recording at the same time. So that takes up some, uh, some key resources. But the TLDR, uh, yeah, the... The game will allow you to have battles of much larger size, uh, which would be... I forget where it is in the... Uh, maybe it's in performance. That battle size. It's up to 400 battle size. Um, which means if I outnumber them 16 to 1, they only get a 16th of that 400 cut. You know what I mean? Which... Uh, which is going to make it really tough for them to actively and functionally defend their base. And up I go. Now, I haven't had a lot of luck in the past with uh, ladder battles. And I have a history of falling. Yeah, they only have 29 troops. Don't you touch that ladder. Don't push it off. I like how my archers are trying to protect me. Actually, I could probably just slash him in the face. Hey, there we go. Your shield's gonna break, buddy. You move, or I break your shield. Go for overhead. Yeah, there we go. Sarlin the Siege Breaker. All right, bringing my Rumphaya into close quarters, where it is absolutely useless and worthless. Nope, there's no one around. There is no one around. Hello? Uh, that sounded like the front door. Oh, hi. Bye-bye. Uh, I see you. Well, I, uh, you know, I'm just not really seeing enemies. Oh, here's one. Come on, you want to? Oh, okay, I guess you don't want to slash me. What is going on here? You're supposed to be attacking. Oh, he's on guard. Yeah, this is absolutely the wrong weapon to bring. Okay, bye. Yeah, you lower that shield. Come on. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, they're fleeing? 
Okay. You, stop it. Whoa, I missed. Right into your face. Or shoulder. Who? I just got hit. Who hit me? Ow. One of these archers down here, I guess. Oh, hi there. This is a Batanian Fion hero, and down I go, having brought the wrong weapon to the fight. That's fine. This is a faster way to finish it up, because we're done. I was one of two people that were knocked out. It's a little embarrassing, but again, totally the wrong weapon. I'm not even going to bother with the prisoners, but I will take the loot. Mechalovea has fallen. Now, the only problem here is, um, because I just was wounded, I won't have enough health to actually... Oh, actually, no, I take that back. I magically just got a lot of health back. I don't know what that's from, but I'll take it. Oh, Abiletos. Dang. You're going to Uthlame Castle? Because it's under siege? Uh, cool. I hope you are successful. I'm going to take Epocatria again, because... Botania needs to know that I'm stronger than them. In fact, significantly stronger than them, I think, if we take a look at diplomacy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Much, much, much stronger. Like two and a half times. Yeah, they bit way more than I think they're going to be able to chew now that I my attention is not split. And they have a bunch of uh, reinforcements that are... Algamon? I don't know where that is. They have a bunch of reinforcements... Oh, I guess it's right here. Uh, ready to attack me, but they just don't have the numbers. And I don't think they're going to get the numbers. Oh, pocket. There we are. This is going to be more of a normal fight. They actually don't have too many uh, people in their garrison. Um... So it's going to be an easier one. I'm going to try for your benefit. Oh boy, ready for the rip? Let's go to Max and see if I can't handle it. So that means that 1,000 of my troops will, will be deployed and about 80 of theirs will be deployed. And before I forget, I think we have well established that these weapons... No, not the room fire. Um, is not ideal for castle sieges, so let's switch it out. Who's this? Caladog versus my caravan or something? Oh, Baranor. It looks like Baranor is going to lose, but just barely. That's sad. Caladog is traveling to Amor. Oh, goodness. Um, so here's the thing. I know that they have siege equipment up, but I want to catch Caladog. So, come on, siege equipment. Go, go, go. Break. All right. I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to lead an assault now because I want to capture Caladog. Because if I lead an assault real quick, Caladog is wounded and full of prisoners that I can free because, well, they're my people that he just captured. So, let's, uh, let's do this. Uh, I am going to keep my trebs deployed. Um, partially because I bring so many troops to this battle. Okay, it gave... Whoa, that's not what I meant to do. It gave the... A little bit more defensive advantage to the enemies. So we're like a 3 to 1 ratio or so. But uh, I seem to be able to run this fine. The... Um, ooh, I think I shot him in the nethers. So far, no issues with the amount of uh, people I brought. 
And I gotta say, it's actually easy to to do archery because it's such a target-rich environment. As I miss several times in a row. There we go. So my aim right now, obviously, is to, well, no pun intended, is to remove defenders from the right tower to make the right tower siege more easy. And I gotta say, I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job of it. For whatever reason, a lot of the targets I'm shooting at right now have, like, uh, they're already wounded. A lot of them are dying uh, first shot, and the first shots are only doing, like, 50 or so. Whoa, that arrow whizzed by my face. Could we not do that? Another thing is distant shots like this. Ouch, I got hit. Um, level up your archery more than close shots. You know, the, the further the shot, uh, the more the experience. So, ripping up... Oh, I'm out of arrows. Ripping up the enemies with my... Um, my bow from distance like this is really, really, really good for the experience. I wonder if I can't find some arrows, like a stack of arrows somewhere in my own base camp. I'm gonna go try to do that. So they've already, we've lost two, they've lost 66 or something good ratio. I, I brought really skilled crossbowmen to this fight, so ranged fights are sort of my forte. Uh, if I was arrows, I'd be maybe in this camp. If this is inbounds and not out of bounds. I almost never come back to resupply, but it's cool that there's actually a siege camp out here, right? Now I just feel like an armchair general not contributing. Although I was just on the front and I have a arrow very clearly lodged in my abdomen. So, I don't know. I'm not... Not just a battle watcher. Alright, here we go. Return to the fight. I did not find arrows. And I helped soften up the, uh, the right flank. So let's, let's work on that. Too bad my horse can't be trained to climb, because that would have been awesome. So another thing, I did siege this town without having fully cleared the siege equipment, because Caladog was an option. He was in play. So another thing I'm going to want to do is to work my way to the siege equipment and to make sure that they aren't manning it. Did you just duck? All right, well, I'll get you in a second. What is going on with my aim? There you go. Bye-bye. Now I got to the enemy's buckets of arrows. Oh, hi. What do you... Just ignore me time? Sarlin the Sanguine. Covered in blood. The way she likes it. Alright. They seem to be clown carring out of this tower here, so. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Wait, come come here. Don't you crossbow me? Put that crossbow away. Yeah, you dummy. I think we basically captured the castle. I, uh. I think, like, this guy might be one of the last ones alive. Yep, literally the last. 22 to... Oh, yeah, look at these ratios. Ooh, la, la. I like it, like it, like it. And none of my companions died. Because I brought a crazy force to bear. I will take all of you prisoner, because I can immediately ransom you. Wow, they had garbage. Absolute garbage. Now, I'm going to want to... 
Uh, Mechalvia could go to Saranen. I obviously don't have the influence to override that. Not that I even care at this point. Um, manage town. Yep, this town is managed exactly how I would manage it. Uh, Tavern District, I'm going to ransom off everyone so I can capture Kaladog and everything that he has. Oh, I am so excited. I am so excited to capture Kaladog. I'm going to make him eat out of a dog bowl. <laughs> that's, that's a little cruel, but that's what I'm going to do to you, Kaladog. I'm going to make you... You're going to be on your knees eating out of a dog bowl when I'm done with you. Makes me sound like a dom, but all right, but enough of that. So I am shedding weight um, as much as I can. We're gonna leave. Caldog is moving at one seven. I'm moving at one nine. I am faster. And really good at math. Now, as his um, as his party heals, he'll move. He'll pick up speed. So I need to shed. Damien Trustin, can you chase him? Oh yes, you can. Save some for me. Oh boy, turn around, turn around. All right. Uh, I don't trust that Damien and Trustin won't go headlong into the super danger. Oh, they did. They did. Stay alive. Oh boy. Oh boy. That was um that was harrowing. I guess Caldog snuck away. That ticks me off a little bit, Find but me, everyone, to me. So this is I have two thirds of the battle. As you can see, we're a thousand now. This is a thousand man battle. Oh boy, this is gonna be um This is gonna be something. Yes. Oh Jesus, it's gonna be something. I usually don't. I don't even know. We'll see. <laughs> oh, we'll see. Little anxious. Wow, they started really far away. I think um, with larger armies, you get larger battlefields or something. We'll try to hold up at the riverbank. I just need to figure out a place for the troops because obviously these are battle numbers that I don't usually ride with. And as a result, um, Mountain Bowman! as a result, it's a little challenging to get space for everybody. Look at all these crossbowmen. I love it. No, Move. So, because I told my guys to shield wall, my um, footmen, they're a little slower. If you put them into shield wall early, they do hold up their shields, but they move slower. But there's no rush to get to this front. In fact, if anything, they're moving away from me. Some of the infantry that don't have shields got here quick. You can kind of see that. Archers, footmen. Make a line. All right, so that didn't work. They're just retreating or something. I don't know what they're doing. Oh wow! Listen to those cavalry. That is a noise. That is an epic noise. Archers! <laughs> oh, there is something I should have been playing on this, for better or for worse, a lot sooner.
Okay, let's get everyone into position. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. Excuse me, get out of my way! Oh my god. I was trying to be nice, but... Jesus. Someone's mad. Infantry! It's a 250 crossbowmen. Gonna rock shots at them. Up! Hey, look at these two. Oops, sorry, sorry. You wanna send two of your horse bowmen at me? I don't care if there's a thousand troops on the field. Why are you horse bowmen? You had shields on. There goes one vessel. Uh, chase the other. Oh, I think we just killed one of their uh, vassals. I thought I saw that in the feed. Someone named Oros died. Well, there goes Krotor. Tell my horsemen to let loose. That was a miss. Oh my god. This is a... Uh, this is a kill feed. I can't even comprehend. Oh, we're sitting... We're sitting on the respawn point. They backed up, and we just happen to be sitting right where they respawn now. That is, uh... That's funny. Alright, you know what? You want to use bows? Fine. Oh, now you get your sword? Yeah, the... I gotta say, my computer is struggling a little bit, as you can see. My frame rates aren't terrible, but it's a little, it's not as smooth as I normally would expect it. It is hard to find people, though. We outnumber them so dramatically that pretty much everyone I can see is allied. All right. Oros. Yep, I did see correctly. An enemy... A uh, vassal named Oros did die on the battlefield. I think it was enemy, right? Please tell me it was enemy or I'm going to be mad. Crotor. Yep, it was an enemy one. Sweet. Good. About time it wasn't me, right? Alright, Honoratus, you are... Well, Oros... Is this the Oros that just died? Oh, that's the Oros I wanted to recruit! Uh, I'll let you go. You don't even have territory. What about you, Corian, Or whatever your name is? Yeah, you're with me. Sanyon, didn't I just capture you? Uh, you are gonna go free to go. Because I actually do want to recruit you. Uh, you hate me so bad. I'll let you go, too. And Krotor, I'll let you go. See, I'm, I'm being nice. Uh, so here's some troops that I could take. And 180 prisoners, you say. Uh, well, I definitely do not have space for 180. 
So let's just pluck from the top and work our way down. It will take me a minute. I'm still a little peeved about the uh, getaway that um, that Caldog made, but I'm also a little worried that uh, Damien and Trustin won't have enough troops to for me to be able to recruit them. And if that's the case, which it very well may be, um, what would end up happening is I wouldn't be able to like call them in and they would just sort of disband or they would they would wander and get themselves per, per, you know perhaps wounded uh all right so let me get rid of these woodsmen until I have a normal amount I have 3 too many or 2 was it 2 yeah 2 too many done 71 go free uh sturgeon hunter it's my only real trophy from that fight. It's pretty lame, considering. Oh, Damien and Trustin are already rallied back. Yeah, that's right, that's right. All right, now I'm gonna roll to Epocatria to ransom and stick someone in the dungeon. So, if we take a look at the Kingdom tab here, We've got uh, equal sieges, so I don't know for sure if they took Epicatria or not, I don't recall, but either way, we are now even Steven for this war, and I plan on making it not even Steven, so we're going to continue. But that battle was epic. Epic. And I don't think I'll be touching my... Uh... Oh, that was all the money that they have. I don't think I'll be touching the battle size anytime soon, so... Here's the problem. They ran out of money. Is there... Let's see if there's anything I can buy to outfit my guys. Step Warbo, is it better? Yes, it is. And then this Step Recurve here... Uh, I'll hold, I'll lock and hold on to you for when someone levels up. So now I'm paying money, which is, which is alright. It was worth it. Tavern. Ransom. Oh boy, oh boy. There it is. Epic amount of ransom for 10 grand. So at the end of the day, we kind of broke even. Is there anything? I feel like I'm for Oh, the dungeon. Keep. Go to dungeon. Manage prisoners. As you can see, there's already some prisoners in here. Why not another one? And then the last, last, last thing I wanted to do is go figure out... Oh, boy. Yeah, they're both low. Trustin is particularly low. Um... I'm going to have to supplement troops, uh, because if I don't, they aren't going to be re-recruitable, which is going to be a problem. So. Oh, no, no, no. Give me those prisoners back. All of these Sturgeons are just added. We'll head on in. Looter, Brigand, Hillman, Militia, Militia, Militia. All right, at this point, we need, uh, we need this party to be about half. So he is about half, but he's too close to half for me to be comfortable. So I'm going to add in... 10 recruits, 10 footmen, and uh, five levy crossbowmen, just to keep them away from the the critical half point. And then we're gonna do the same to Damien. He's gonna take a lot of my uh, low level troops. So he's gonna take all of my footmen, minus five. Let's keep five of them. Where, where is it? Or what I could do is I could do the Gallant Knights. And Infantry. Swordsman. There. We'll call, call it even now. <laughs> you could take all my 
basic crossbowman, and he is well above his halfway mark. Uh, let's see. There's probably other higher level Volandians I can sort of steal from him. Yep. I'm going to take some of the footmen back because he doesn't need that many footmen. Okay, there we go. He's above his halfway mark. So if an army is at 50% capacity, total capacity, um, you can't actually enlist them. Or maybe it's 40%. I forget what the percentage is, but as you can see... Um, I'm trying to find a recruit that doesn't have enough people. They really all do. That's kind of exceptional in my opinion. So we did see Cranorak Castle is under siege. Uh, but Varchek's also under siege from Peric. That's cool. And then, who my... Sachanis is guarding my western front. That's good. That's good. What a town is this bound to? Pen Canuck? That's really strange. Epic Tria is going to go, what, to Sarandon again? Why does Sarandon get, uh, whatever. I'm, I, again, don't really have the influence to overrule, but that's got to be the last thing that Sarandon gets. This is getting ridiculous. Alright, so we do have Mangus here. I could, I could fight to a more... But let me get the Maz Mazadan Castle. That will be my next uh, my next goal. So they were trying to go after Uthlame Castle, and they're gone. I don't know where they went, but they uh, definitely retreated. Oh, here's Caldog. Caldog runs really fast, so I'm probably not going to be able to chase him down. So I'm not. I'm, I'm going to stop. As much as it would be awesome to catch him. It really would be awesome. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to catch him. But uh, why would I have to pay tribute to you? I've crushed you. You touch that caravan, Caldog. Oh, come on, caravan. Hold out. Yes! 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 Oh, Caldog, you're so screwed. Thank you, Caravan. Everyone! Give them head Alright, so it is 976 versus 24. Uh, Kaladog, I think, famously does not ride a horse. So I should be looking at... I actually don't see anyone that could be Kaladog, though. But needless to say, this feels great. There is just... This is unbelievably one-sided. To the point where, like, I can't even move. And I'm not, I'm not even upset by this. Hello, Caladog's Caravan Raiders. You are so dead. For real. There's not even anything for me to do. They are just simply dying before I can get to them. The Ironmonger liked what I did. Enemies fled. Uh, Kaladog got knocked unconscious, but will I capture him? Probably one of my vassals will. Uh, we could take a whole bunch prisoner. The Ironmonger really liked what I did there, huh? Uh, I guess they had a Volandian Courser. Alright, Kaladog. K-A, or C-A, I said K. Um, taken prisoner. Autumn 3rd. Yep, he's in one of my prisons. He's in one of my, um, my vassal's, uh, stockades. That works for me. That works for me. Alright, Lantanor just got taken prisoner, though. Where was that? Uh, scene, last scene around Aster. Here, let me get my latest information. 
Okay, he got taken prisoner. Oh, uh, near Sachanis. Okay. All right. I was wondering if it was anywhere near me. Tis not. Sanion I, that I released just got taken prisoner again. Man, he is real active. All right, here we are at this beautiful castle. Um, same typical siege pattern. Blow up their equipment and take the walls. While I say that, let me switch my gear. Well, I didn't really mean to get rid of my bow. Oh, that's the wrong bow. Uh, hi, Ilias. If only I could talk to you right now, I would try to recruit you. Ilias is one that's been on my uh, radar for, honestly, time and memoriam. My leadership just hit 250. So, plus one companion, and each tier six troop increases party morale by one, up to ten. Or, I add three focus points to three random clan members when I get this perk, plus one party. Uh, let's go with plus one companion. We pledge our swords. I like it. Uh, anyone else level up? Yes. Uh, Richard the Stag. You were going to get one-handed because it fell behind your bow in riding. And I think that's the only person that could level up. So if I take a look here. Companions. Eight out of nine. I like it. Oh, I like it. Unfortunately, I tend to lose companions at a ridiculously high rate, but... Still, it makes me happy. Alright, so here is the castle. I'm curious how much food I have. That is actually a, an active worry of mine. Um, 26 days? Oh, 26 days is fine. I was worried it was going to be less, given that I think I'm feeding everybody right now. I don't think most of the people here have their own, um, their own, uh, food sources. Um, Volandi just declared war on me. Okay. That, obviously, is going to be the focus of next episode. Volandia is doing it for me. Thanks, Volandia. You really do want to get your butt kicked. I really, really wanted to um, uh, to be able to recruit some more people to fill my ranks so I could do this sort of long sustained sieges, but um, clearly that's just not in the cards for me. So let me get my battering ram built before I lead this last siege of the episode. Sarlin the Siege Breaker, going in again. She really is a beast. All right, we don't need trebs because they don't have any equipment. Yeah. We've got, uh, it's a 4 to 1 ratio, 800 to 804 to 196. So that's good. Now another thing to note is, I should take cover because of the, ouch. Because of the amount of people that can be deployed, just because we have a high ratio doesn't mean they won't have a lot of shooters. But I gotta say, it is pretty fantastic just to see the, the uh, arrows and, and bolts fly. That guy's trying to shoot me. You know what, guy? How's that feel? Oh, you got me. Oh, and someone got you. Work on my aim. Who's shooting me from over here? Oh, you. Yeah, I see you now. 
There, you're dead. I gotta say, the just the stream of bolts and arrows flying past me is just exceptional to watch. Alright, down to... Ooh, that was cool. Down to last shots here. Here's the last one. At least I made that one count. Oh, uh, so I have problems. I didn't actually give myself a weapon. I just have a shield. Because I definitely didn't give me the mountain blade. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick... I mean, I don't like picking over the dead. It doesn't feel good, but I need some sort of weapon, don't I? Or I could just try to get up to an arrow bag up top and use my bow. Yep, I'm being first up. Whoa, hello. Okay, I don't like this anymore. I don't think I have much of a choice. Oh, and down I go. Yeah, it's very, very difficult to, uh, to make progress when you don't have a weapon. I've got a weapon now. All right, let's try the gates. Why is there archers able to just shoot at me? Get out of here. I will pick arrows up one at a time to kill you guys. That's how much I care. I don't see any other arrows, though. Man, this siege tower is just a failed approach. Hope other guys elsewhere are doing better, because we are not. Oh yeah, the front gates look okay. Operation Find a Quiver. Failed over here, too. Well, one arrow. Made it count. <laughs> yeah, this castle's uh, harder to crack, I guess, than previous ones. Or, more specifically, I think my troops just aren't uh, climbing effectively. Let me see if any of my archers back here have died, where I can pick up some arrows. No. These guys are all alive and well. Soldiers! Attack! I'm going to send everyone in. Because I think a lot of my crossbowmen are just out of range. And if I push... Because they, on they only really have 45 troops left. I mean, there's not much left to do here. But wait. Yeah, we, we already ha we're already inside their castle, I guess. The queen with no blade. Still the breaker of sieges. Oh, interesting. For whatever reason... Oh, thanks for opening it. Yeah, I was going to say for whatever reason, we never even bothered to go through their main gate. Probably because I uh, told everyone to charge and they stopped pushing the gate. Two, one, zero, done. Only, uh, only 42 dead for a castle is not terrible. Gained some influence, gained some prisoners, gained the useful information that, um, entering the battle with a, uh, with a weapon is often useful. 
<laughs> There's always first. And now, uh, Varcheg can go to Kalatild. Obviously, I, uh, I didn't capture Varcheg myself, so that's pretty cool that one of my vassals got it. And if I zoom out... I did just see that um, Trustin and Damien delivered a bunch of troops to the garrison here. So I'm going to take all the garrison troops out of here because I think what happens is because, and, and this happened in the previous episodes, um, when I, when I uh, own the castle, like when I capture things, I temporarily own them briefly, right? And my relatives and my companions want my things that I own to be well guarded. Which is a perfectly fine game mechanic, I would say. But the net result of it is kind of annoying. They actually ditch their armies and stuff their armies into the holdings. So that's why when I took um, Ec Ep um, uh, Mechalovea and Epicatrea, uh, their armies dropped in size all of a sudden. Because they had donated their own troops to the garrison to try to keep it protected, but like, that's not what I wanted them to do. And they've done this before. They've done this when um, I went to Orticia, I think. I believe it was Orticia. So I just have to constantly remind them, yo, keep your troops uh, so that you're not dipping below your half, half recruit mark. Well, that's all the time I have. Uh, at this point, Dunglanis is under siege by Sichanis. I don't know what his chances are, uh, but if you take a look, we have two more successful sieges than they do. Uh, because Parak just took Varcheg, I just took uh, Maz, Maz Hadan. Now the other thing is, and this is probably pretty obvious to all of you, with Valandia declaring war on us, we might want to settle. I might want to ride west to Sachanis' army to see what his chances are of capturing it, and if it's not high, just settle peace and focus on Valandia. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. I will catch you next episode. Farewell.